Hello friends and welcome to JavaScript. First things first, what is JavaScript? JavaScript is a lightweight, imperative, or just-in-time compiled programming language with first-class functions. While it is most well known as the scripting language of the web page, many non-browser environments also use it, such as Node.js, the JS in there stands for JavaScript, Apache CoachDB, and also Adobe Acrobat. JavaScript is a prototype-based, multi-paradigm, single-threaded, dynamic language, supporting object-oriented, imperative, and declarative functional programming style. And do not confuse JavaScript with Java, they are totally separate programming languages. If we take a look in our layer cake of web technologies, JavaScript as well as the other two, HTML and CSS, are part of that layer cave web development technologies. HTML, as you may or may not know, is the markup language that we use to structure and give meaning to our web content. For example, defining paragraphs, headings, and data tables. Nobody uses data tables anymore, but they are there. Or embedding images and videos into our web pages. CSS, on the other hand, is a language of style rules that we use to apply styling to our HTML content. For example, setting up background colors, or font sizes, or font styles, and laying out our content in multiple columns. And then comes JavaScript. JavaScript is the critical language that enables you to create dynamically updating content, then control multimedia, animate images and pretty much everything else okay not everything else but it is amazing what you can achieve with just a few lines of javascript code so what can it really do well javascript can store values inside variables it can perform operations of, on pieces of text known as strings in programming it can run code in response to certain events for example click events key up events key down events load events on the web page and much much more so what is JavaScript actually doing on your web page? When you load a web page in your browser, you're running your code, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, inside an execution environment, the browser tab. This is like a factory, when you throw in your raw materials, which is the code, and outputs a product, the web page. A very common use for JavaScript is to dynamically modify HTML and CSS to update the user experience via the Document Object Model API, also known as the DOM. So there's only one question you should ask yourself, why learn JavaScript? Well, the most obvious reasons for learning JavaScript is if you have hopes of becoming a web developer. Even if you haven't had your heart set on a tech career, being proficient in JavaScript will enable you to build amazing web pages from scratch, a pretty useful skill to have in today's job market. So if you want to become a web developer, here are some of the main reasons why you should learn JavaScript. First of all, JavaScript is in the top programming languages. Don't believe me? Let's ask Google. Let's do a quick Google search. Top programming languages. Well, you know, JavaScript is on number three. So let's go into the link. Python, Java, JavaScript, C, and C++, Ruby, Go, Kotlin, PHP, Objective-C, and Swift. Let's check out another link, top 10 in-demand programming languages for 2020. If we scroll down, we'll see Python number one, JavaScript number two, Java number three. So if you find JavaScript in the top five in each of your searches, then learn JavaScript. Another reason to learn JavaScript is that JavaScript experts are in-demand and well-paid. JavaScript is among the most popular programming languages in the world, so it is no wonder that JavaScript is one of the most sought-after skills in the web development industry today. According to global hiring and skill reports, 70% of companies are looking to hire JavaScript experts. Enter the search word JavaScript on sites like Indeed and you will find over 40,000 jobs requiring this skill. Run the search term again in LinkedIn and the results will be 100,000. In the same time, the global demand on JavaScript seems to outweigh the expertise available on the market. And this is just economics 101, supply and demand. If the demand does not meet the supply, then the price go up, so you are more expensive. According to Hacker's report, 48% of employees worldwide need developers with JavaScript skills. 
while only 42% of students developers claim to be proficient in JavaScript. Not only are JavaScript experts in demand, they are also well paid. In the United States alone, JavaScript developers earn an average yearly salary of over 100k per year. The third reason to learn JavaScript. JavaScript experts are versatile. JavaScript is an extremely versatile language. Once you master it, the possibilities are endless. You can code on the client side, which is the front end using Angular, or on the server side, which is the back end using Node.js. That JS there stands for JavaScript. You can also develop web, mobile, and desktop apps using React, React Native, and Electron, and you can even get involved into machine learning. So if you want to become a front-end developer, JavaScript is a pre-required set of skills. However, that's not the only career path open to you as a JavaScript expert. Mastering this key programming language could see you go on to work in full-stack development, game development, information security software engineer, machine learning, and artificial intelligence, to name just a few. Ultimately, if you want any kind of development or engineering career, proficiency in JavaScript is a must. And last but not least, JavaScript is beginner-friendly. It is your friend. Compared to many other programming languages, JavaScript offers one of the most beginner-friendly entry points into the world of coding. The great thing about JavaScript is that it comes installed on every modern web browser. There's no need to set up any kind of complex web development environment, which means you can start coding with JavaScript right now. Don't believe me? Let's go to Google again. If you ever want to pull a trick on a friend of yours, then just go to Google, right click, click on inspect, in your elements tab, so here's the elements tab, here's the console. We'll use the elements tab, we'll select, using this selector up here, this arrow, Let's select this div right here. Now this div has an ID right here of LGA. Let's copy this ID, go into our console, and let's clear our console, clear console. Let's go in here and let's type in document dot get element by ID, open and close parentheses, within the parentheses, between double quotes, we'll paste in our ID LGA, then dot style dot display is equal to none then close it with a semicolon hit enter and google is gone oh my god what do we do don't worry don't worry click on the up arrow on your keyboard go into display none delete it and type in display block and voila google is back so as you saw, another advantage of learning JavaScript as your first programming language is that you get instant feedback. With a minimal amount of JavaScript code, as you just saw, you'll immediately see visible results. Not only is JavaScript beginner friendly, it will also set you up with some extremely valuable transferable skills. JavaScript supports object-oriented, functional, and imperative styling programming language skills which can be transferred to any new language you might learn later on, such as Python, Java, or C++, actually C Sharp also. JavaScript provides a crucial introduction to key principles and practices that you will take with you throughout your career as a developer. Okay guys, so if you're convinced by now, see you in the course. Take care, bye bye.